Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me, AD Summer for four. So today, guys, I want to go ahead and do a video about Barcelona versus Real Betis. Real Betis versus Barcelona in La Liga. So before we go ahead and do this video, though, I kind of want to combine a lot of topics in this video. Kind of discuss about, like, you know, Barcelona uh, transfer targets. And then also discuss about um, the Copa del Rey semifinal draw that just happened earlier today. And then also give a preview for tomorrow's match. So there will be time to subscription below if you just want to skip around and hear different parts. And so, yeah, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's start with the Copa del Rey semifinal first. So it's official, guys. Barcelona will be playing Real Madrid in the Copa del Rey semifinals. Okay. And Barcelona will be playing the first leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. And the second leg will take place at the Camp Nou. Now, the dates for these games are not official just yet. So we're going to have to wait and see. It kind of depends on what happens with, you know, Barcelona's Europa League campaign whether we make it far, and then obviously Real Madrid's Club World Cup. So I'll try to communi communicate with you guys the dates once the dates are official. Um, as of now, though, I believe it's going to take place in February, the first leg, and probably the second leg, probably in March. Okay? So the dates aren't confirmed yet. Um, and so, yeah, for, for me personally, I would have preferred to play Madrid in the final. However, at the same time, maybe it is better to play in the semifinals because now we're going to have five El Clasicos against Real Madrid. And, you know, El Clasicos are always fun and exciting, so... You know, it's guaranteed, and obviously, um, we haven't had these amount, this amount of El Clasico since 18 and 19 season, I believe. So that's the last time we had the two teams play against each other uh, five times in a single season. So that would be interesting to say there. So now let's go ahead and move on to the um, the transfer targets. So there have been three players that Barcelona has been linked to today. The first player is um, Amrabat. You know, Amrabat was one of the best midfielders in the World Cup. This year, he was fantastic. I Sorry, last year, he was amazing in the World Cup for Morocco. And he would be a great CDM option. Now, the belief is that we would get, Barca would get him on loan. And hopefully, during the summer, there will be a buy option. So, it would be very, very nice to have. But at the same time, we do have to get rid of one midfielder. Like, what's going to happen to Kessie? Like, what are we going to do with Kessie? You know, Busquets as well. You know, so, I'm, I'm all for this deal. It's just that I'm a bit confused why it's a loan. You know, and like I said, with uh, you know, I don't want to get too excited because you know what happens on deadline day sometimes never goes our way. So, Barca fans, let's not get too excited until it's everything's official. So, don't get too excited yet. The second player we've been linked to is Julian Araujo. Once again, um, another player that's been at the right back position. Once again, we would have a loan to buy option, and for me, this is a right back that we could desperately need in our team. But at the same time, I'm not really sure if he's a quality player that we need. So. Maybe it could work out. You know, I'm okay with the loan option. Um, and, um, yeah, I mean, I guess we don't really have another option. So. And then the final player is Benjamin Pavard. We're probably going to go for him this summer with Bayern. Uh, just getting Joao Cancelo at the loan deal this today. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens all that. But I believe the Pavard one will be more in the summer, not this window in particular, I believe. Anyways, that's enough transfer talk for now. Let's go ahead and talk about the game, guys. Let's talk about the game. So, Real Betis versus Barcelona. Let's do a quick little image for this game. This is a big game. It's a huge game in La Liga. And what's very pivotal with this game is that Real Madrid dropped points yesterday to Real Sociedad at home. And it's very, very interesting because now Barca have a five-point lead at the top of the table. And what's also very interesting is that Barcelona have some tricky away games coming up. We have to play Betis away, Villarreal away, and then we're going to have to play Sevilla. These three games were very difficult for us. And I feel as though this month could make or break Barcelona's season. And we also have to play Manchester United as well. Don't forget about them. But that's the Europa League. And I feel as though this is a very crucial month because Real Madrid also have a lot of tough games this month. They're going to have to play Liverpool home and away. They're going to have to play Atletico Madrid. They're going to have to going to play the Club World Cup. And of course, they're going to be playing Barcelona um, two, time, two or two times in this month potentially. So it's going to be very interesting to see how all that pans out because Real Madrid have a very tough fixtures and they have a lot of key injuries as well. So this could be a month where Barcelona really asserts their dominance in the league and really shows that they can, they can practically win the league this month. Okay, now I'm not going to get too reactionary, too excited yet because, you know, Barcelona still have some tough games and we still have some tough challenges to play. And of course, this is going to be our first tough challenge to play Batiste on the road. And we know what Batiste did to us last time. They pushed us to penalties the Super Cup de Copa España and took it all the way to penalties and we just about won our penalties. And 
once again, I have to give Ter Stegen massive props in that game because he came out clutch for Barca on the day. As for Real Batiste, um, they're going to also come into this game with fire momentum on their side because this is also a big game for them as well because they're trying to get top four this season. The top four battle this season is insane with um, Villarreal just losing earlier today to uh, Billy Ryan Volcano. So we're going to have ourselves a really, really good La Liga match. A lot is at stake for both teams here. And I think it's really, really crucial, really interesting to know that this is a massive game. This is a huge game for both teams. And I think both teams really need the win. And I think for Xavi in particular, coming into this game, the big question mark is who's going to replace Usman Dembele? Who's going to replace Usman Dembele? Because we've seen the last game he got injured. And according to reports, he's going to miss four to five weeks. He's going to basically miss a month. And that's going to be a huge blow for us because criticize Dembele all you will, and I rightfully so, I do think he deserves criticism, he is still our best winger in this team, which actually says a lot about this club, that he's still our best winger in this team. And that just that just says how everything you need to know. The good news is that Lewandowski will be back for this game. His suspension is over, which is really, really nice to know because without Lewandowski, it would be very difficult to play against Real Batiste, of course, with their attack. And obviously, Rafinha is going to expect to start. And I think the question mark for Xavi is, is he going to start Pedri at the left wing? Because Ansu Fati, for me, recently have, hasn't been looking great. He's just not been looking good. And I honestly feel with Pedri being so good for us in the last two games, I mean, he scored game-winning goals. You kind of have to start Pedri. And even though it is out of the position, I, would re I really think Pedri is so important to this team. Pedri is very, very important to this team. And without Pedri... This team isn't just that great. He's such an important player for this team. Not just in terms of goal scoring, but dribbling, playmaking. This guy has been phenomenal for us this season. He's been amazing. So Pedri has to start. And I think the question mark for Xavi is what's going to happen with rotation because he can't play Eric Garcia and Marcos Alonso in this game. He just can't. These players will get run over and exposed. And we saw what Real Betis did last time. When the two players played, they exposed those players. So we're going to probably see Alba, I mean, sorry, Balde start at the left back, and we're probably going to see Christensen, assuming that he's fit, in which he should be fit. Um, he didn't play at all against Girona. So I hope, I imagine he is fit for this game. And uh, worst case scenario, if he's not fit, play Kunde at the center back and play Roberto at right back. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens here. And you look at the table that Real Betis are currently in, um, look at the league position they're currently in. Real Batiste is sixth. They have one game in hand. They're literally neck and neck with this one. This is such a close top four race. And you look at Real Batiste this season, they've been phenomenal this season. Phenomenal. You know, picking up a crucial away win at Getafe. You know, Borja Iglesias scoring a last, close to last minute penalty. wadri has been good. Then Carvalho's Enrique. Um, that Enrique guy's been great. Go to Rodriguez, Felipe Pezella. Then Sabal Miranda. And then Claudio Bravo. Juan Mi. Like, they got some great players, man. And they, Real Betis play a very similar brand of football that Barcelona play. A very possession-based attacking football. And generally, Barca tends to excel those kind of against those kind of teams because of how uh, well, how much space they leave him behind. So, yeah, as I said, man, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens here. Uh, and so on and so forth. My score prediction for this game. My score prediction for this game. It's a difficult game. I do think Real Batiste will give it a good at go. And I do believe we're going to also give it a good go. I'm going to say this is going to be a close game. And I think we're going to keep a clean sheet, believe it or not. And I think we're just going to win this 1-0. I don't know. I just have a feeling that Barca is going to win this 1-0. They've been kind of like the 1-0 kind of merchants the last couple of games. And I just feel as though Barca is just going to eck this 1-0. Um, hopefully, we can score more goals. That would be nice. And I'm going to go with Lewandowski to score the game-winning goal for us in the second half. So that's going to pretty much be it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I kind of did a lot of different things in the video. hope you guys do enjoy kind of just combining things in one video. hope you guys do enjoy it. And if you guys don't enjoy it, I could always do separate types. Maybe do like YouTube shorts or like do like individual videos instead. Um, but it's just a lot better for me time, 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 time wise. So hope you guys do enjoy. Make sure you guys hit the like button. If you did enjoy, hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.